Hello and welcome to the Archie Luxury Program. Very special program today. Archie Luxury is back from Bangkok and we're having a discussion with John Sakahorn. Hello, my distinguished guest, Mr. Sakahorn. How are you? G'day, Paul. Good to have you back, mate. Good to have you back from Bangers. How was it, mate? You have a good time? It was the best five days of my life. It was the best five days of my life. And I, I kid you not, if, if on my deathbed, when I'm uh, talking to St. Paul, St. Peter or St. Paul, and they say to me, we're just, we're weighing up all the, um, the, the experiences I've seen, I've had in my life there, that would have to rate as probably the best, Five day stretch of my life. That's a big and, uh, Yeah, no, it was absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. I had the time of my life. I I tell you what, John, I was crying on the plane coming home. I was so so, so emotional and uh, I got to be honest with you, I've made some really good friendships over there and I got to be completely truthful with you, John. It's changed my life. Okay. Changed your life. Changed. It has changed my life and um, we're going to see some important changes on the Archie Luxury channel. One of the things that has happened, uh, uh, John, is that when I was away, I've actually got a consultant in to advise on the Archie Luxury channel. Look, there are watch channels out there that are getting ten to 20,000 views per video. Now, I've actually got a consultant in I've actually, John, I've actually put the video, the video with the consultant is is being uploaded very, very, after this, this interview, it will be uploaded, okay? It's going to take a while because it's a, uh, the consultants, Jesus, John, they're expensive. Yes. Do you come with any frills or anything, does he, or? Uh... Look, look, i got to be honest with you, John, Johnny, do you know, this guy's charging 666 bucks an hour. 660 bucks an hour. And uh, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say there. Sorry about that. I just had someone who was just, just trying to ring me. 660 bucks per hour. And 666 bucks per hour. And anyhow, I, I've worked out a deal with him, okay? So the viewers will see what's going to happen. But basically, I've entered into a, a no-voted... You know how we were talking about good debt, bad debt, right? Yes. yes, yes. I've entered into one of those sort of deals, a good debt, bad debt, buyout, leveraged um, type of saddle, okay? That's the best way to describe it. It's called a saddle. Okay, the stock yeah. market, if, any, if there's any stock market players out there, foreign currency, it's called a saddle. We've got a saddle, a saddle, and uh, basically, I got a signing bonus for signing up, and uh, I had to give him my soul and put a few subliminal ads in some of my videos. So I thought that was a great deal, and... <laughs> As a signing bonus, I've now got, I've now, I'll put that on camera. Can you see that, Johnny? Look what, look back. what, what, I got it, I got it back. Did you think that would be, I, especially after I sold it, I got it back. Would you have to do that, sell your soul for that, did you? Well, I don't believe in God anyhow, so it's not really a big issue, is it? Do you believe in God, John? Uh... It's an intangible. Does it really matter? I'm here for the living, not for the dead. Life is for the living, not for the dead. 
I've, I've, I don't believe in reincarnation or anything like that. You've got one whack at this, and uh, if you don't make it good this time, I don't think there's any second chances. So um, if, if you want to make a mess of this, well, bad luck. You know, but um, you know, go for it. Go for it, mate. Now, John, i got to tell you the truth there. Any second chances. Completely honest with you, right? Completely, completely... Now, people are saying, look at this, they got some... I, I haven't even started putting the videos up. Now, this is what really irritates me, John. Yeah. They're, saying, they're saying to me, they're having a go at me. They're saying, man, you uploaded two crappy videos. Unbelievable. On your arch. Hang on a minute. They were complaining about the quality before. Right? Yes, yes. Yeah. They were complaining about the quality. And um, let's be honest there, Johnny. What I've done is I've actually, I'm going to be making quality content. I've got to edit the fucking stuff. I can't just slop it out. They're complaining the quality is shit. Well, that's because I haven't edited yet. I've got thousands of hours of footage. I've got to put it together. You understand that, John, don't you? Oh, it takes time to make a video. Please don't jump on you know, if you, you want to make a good one, you've got to put a bit of work into it. That's exact. So, so, guys, I've only just come back. I've got a bit of a flu. I'm jet lag. And th there's certainly going to be a lot more. And, uh, look, I, I, I've, I've got, I'll give you a clue. I've got a cockroach video coming out soon, too. <laughs> Can't wait for that one. I've got just the music for that. Just yeah, so look, I, I want to improve the quality. That's the whole thing. So I'll, um, I, I got to say to you, John, John, I have got a lot of promising things happening on the channel. There's going to be some big changes. And um, let's not talk about that. I've also got a new travel channel I'm going to be forming soon, too. Good, good. It's going to concentrate on quality content unlike this filler that everyone's complaining about. But, John, what I wanted to really talk about today with you is, right, I wanted to talk about the fact that Bangkok, Bangkok is a place, it's not a place for the soft-hearted. It's not a place, you, you wear your heart on your sleeve, you will be hurt. Do you agree with that, John? I'll eat you alive. I'll eat you alive wearing your heart on your sleeve in Thailand. Show any emotion or, you know, whether it be, you know, excitement or or sadness. They'll play on it, mate. You know, they'll play on it. They'll find a weakness and, you know, and get their way in. You know, like tears always work. You know, te tears always work to up the ante. Now, John, I just need you to cover me for a minute. You, you cover me for a minute. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I just got to do one quick thing. No worries. Yeah. Tears always work. Tears always work. You know, yeah. you know like uh, yeah. we noticed that uh, recently, didn't we? We did uh, We had a bit of a, a little bit of a, a go at that. First time. Thank you. Uh, to the lady, and uh, she put on the water. Oh, boy. Oh, works and, uh, All right. Oh, and, um, oh. and then. That came the extra bar. Okay, you know, sirrah, sirrah. But as Patea Bar says, you can't eat love. No, exactly right, sir. You can't eat love. Sucker, tell us, tell us you know, your opinion on what the old hooker he picked up for a thousand bar. Yeah, well, we'll wait until he gets back into the room. I think for that one, we'll ask him. You know, he's back. He's not um, he's not in the room, but uh, when he gets back, I'm sure we'll broach that subject. But um, yeah, good question, Mr. Azri Ted. Good question. Talking about you know, you know the daily events in uh, you know Archie's you know, travel log in Thailand, and he has had a good time, and uh, it should have been uh, quite evident, you know, in, in his voice when you heard. Uh, the vid uh, when he was on Sukhumvit and uh, Soya Soak. I had a, a, some pictures of all that traffic. Uh, he was quite chirpy then. Uh, I think he had quite a enjoyable night, you know, the night before. But uh, uh, he was having a good one. 
no, he's never a good one that day. But uh, yeah, yeah, Bangkok is uh, yeah. Don't wear your heart on your sleeve in Bangkok. It's uh, it's no place for love. You know, perfect place for lust. You know, L U S T, but no L L O V E. That's for sure. No, that's for sure. But wearing a hat on your sleeve, yeah, that's when they got you, haven't they? You know, they can play the buffalo has died. And I've got to take the buffalo to the hospital. And, uh, here's a question for Mr. Mantel. G'day, Sean. How are you, mate? Uh, John, will you tell us? Uh, uh, we'll tell you that the time is not as good as it was in the 80s. Um, you're over it nowadays. I still go. Uh, they're great days for mongers you now, past in Thailand. Well, I think that might be you know, right in a way compared to what it was. You can certainly say that. Uh, you know, the good old days of you know Thailand, where you met a girl and uh, you know she became your wife for a week or two, and they were to the wife. Uh, well and truly, God. We're just saying. We're just saying here at the moment, Paul, that uh, yeah, how how Bangkok has changed. You know, from, uh, you know, I've got to tell you something, John. i tell you what I'm amazed with. Johnny, I've got to tell you what I'm amazed with. And uh, I, 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 there's a new class of Bangkokian, right? These are a super smart, elite, upper middle class, right? Well, I wouldn't even say upper. They're middle class, okay? And they've got education. They got money. Well, they're starting to earn money. Uh, let's put that again. They've got education, like a master's degree. They've traveled. They've been to different countries. And fuck me dead, John. Fuck me dead. They, um, they're fucking moving. They're steamrolling ahead. They're steamrolling ahead. They're going to. Who well, has a good uh, example, Paul? Here's a good yeah. example. He just. Past comment. You know, what do you think about the fact that 40% of Nana, Nana providers are lady boys now as opposed to 10%? Well, I'd, I'd say that's a pretty fair assessment. You know, there certainly you know, there's much more lady boys hanging around Nana Plaza than what they ever were in Bangkok. You know, the, yeah. You know, Look, I think the, um, they've never really been my scene, the lady boys, you know, but. Uh, they're uh, they're real aggressive fuckers, you know that. I, I used to turn the uh, the cam on. That 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 used to get them to get the fuck out of my way. I turned the uh, the cam the cam, the video cam on, and uh, I got to be completely honest with you. I got nothing against the lady boys, right? But they're really aggressive and. Uh, a man's brain, haven't they? Haven't got a female brain. No, got a man's no, that's, brain. Yeah. John, what I want to say to you is Bangkok is a dynamic city. It's just amazing. It's an amazing city. There is, you can have your dreams fulfilled in Bangkok. It is an absolutely amazing city. It's a world-class city, not Brisbane. Well, Brisbane's a shithole. But uh, Bangkok itself, my God, that place is happening. It is moving and shaking. And, uh... Johnny, I got to tell you the truth there. I fucking think Bangkok itself, it's, uh, it's, I'm fucking falling in love with the city, John. That's who I fell in love with. Bangkok, the city. I, 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 I want to go back there. I'm sick of life in the Western world. Well, Bangkok's very exciting. You know, it's like, always exciting. in Bangkok. You, you always seek out whatever you, whatever you want. In Bangkok, the only limitation in Bangkok is your imagination and how much money you've got. And your wallet. And your wallet. Yeah. Now, yeah. Johnny, I tell you some things. I went to these ultra expensive cinema in Bangkok where you got a mattress you lie down on. Okay, boy. That was $160 for two. $160. Do you have a companion or go on your own? Look, Johnny, we, 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 we've got to be a bit careful about these things, but I had to do it. I took one for the channel, right? You took one and for the I've got to tell you, it was probably just an amazing... I went and saw Captain America. Captain America, great, great, great uh, bit of fiction there. Great movie, great movie. A lot of action in it on the big screen. Having a... Um, 
Oops. Having a uh, just a relax and and uh, I, I tell you what, Johnny, that those five days were the best five days of my life, Johnny. That's and I stand by year. that. That's the best. Absolutely fantastic to hear. Great. I mean, look, there is nothing that's sitting there. Absolutely amazing. It's an absolutely amazing city, and uh, I've got to be honest with you. You know. This sleazy red light district doesn't appeal to me as much as it used to. I know the boys might be upset with this, but there's a side of Bangkok that I just, um, I, I want to try and get more quality to the channel. Okay. So I'm, I'm thinking, uh, I think you, I can see, I can see the horror in your eyes. The ratings are plummeting as it is, John, and you're, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I know what I'll be doing. No. John, I've got a travel channel coming. Yeah. I was wondering yeah. if you could help me on that as well. Do you mind helping me on that? Pleasure, mate. Pleasure. Not a problem. Not a problem, mate. Because we're both into horology. Yeah, W H O R E. That one. That one. John. John, i got to tell you, seriously, the trip to Bangkok was amazing. I, what, was um, what was the highlight of the trip, would you say? Look, John, the highlight, the highlight is that uh, Archie Luxury is going to be making some changes. You know this? Right, okay. Okay, we'll just, we'll just, we don't want to say too much, but... Um, uh, I think Archie's met someone, but let's just leave it at that, okay? 47. And, uh, Archie's going to be implementing very soon the Archie Luxury Weight Loss Program 90-Day Challenge. Very good. Yeah. And how many yeah. kilos are going to take off? 30 kilos, John. Well, when you take off 30 kilos, I'll stop smoking. All right? Is that, a, is that a deal? That's a deal. Is that a deal? You better watch what you say there. Yeah, 30 kilos, I'll stop smoking. Okay. What do you What do you reckon I need to lose? Oh, Tim, you know, start, you know, start losing one kilo first, you know. <laughs> one at a time. <laughs> See one at a time. One at a time. Now, John... I've actually, my, my weight loss program, what I'm doing is there's two simple rules to it. Eat less, move more. Yeah, yeah. So what I've done is, John, let me ask you this. You're a thin, you're a thin guy. You're quite a, a, a handsome. You know, you, you're, you're, you're fairly, you're in well shape. So no more alcohol for the 90-day challenge. Yeah. Mind you, I could really do murder a scotch at the moment. I can tell you that now. Yeah, I'm a bit of gin. Yeah. Yeah. No alcohol, no soft drink, no orange juice, water only. No I'm, joke. I'm, I'm having, when I have meat, I'm having a small serve of meat with a big serve of salad or vegetables. Yeah. yeah. Sugar's a killer. Stop your sugar intake. Well, sugar is mainly in in soft drinks and that. You can put a bit of sugar in your tea. That's not going to kill you. Two two teaspoons of sugar in your tea. One teaspoon's not going to kill you. How many cups of tea do you have? One or two a day. Yeah, right. Uh. I normally have one tea and one coffee. Okay. Yeah, it's not bad. You know, you're having 10 cups of tea, that's 20 cups of sugar, 20, 20 spoonfuls of sugar. One can of Coke, that's equal to. Yeah. We've also yeah. got some changes happening on the channel as well, John. Yes, tell me this. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to say too much, but uh, Satan Deville wants me to review all sorts of watches. Well, you better watch him, mate. He's a bit of a worry, that Satan Deville. He might be on a good wicket, though. He might have something there, though. Mm. What, what's he want you to do? Interview, what? Review shitheads? Affordable timepieces, he actually used the terminology. 
All right, so oh. shitters are off. So we won't be mentioning, you know, like low end sort of shitter watches. But you've declared that on the channel anyway. We're not doing shitters anymore. When did I declare that? Uh, at the end of the shitter watches, you put that up in the video before you went away, didn't you? A couple of weeks before you went away, you know. You know, the, the shitter watches are off. You're not promoting shitter watches on your channel. Oh, John, I'm, I'm a ratings whore, okay? I'll do anything for ratings, okay? Back up the truck a bit. <laughs> John, also, the thing is, right, i got to be honest with you there, John. I've actually, uh, so I'm going to actually be embarking on a very serious diet program, John. Yeah. And, uh, John, it's going to uh, have some very nasty side effects, John. It's going to be some anger management issues. It's going to be a lot of problems there. And uh, oh, I'm, also, I'm also, John, I forgot to tell you, I'm possibly considering going overseas more to help the channel grow because I've got to do something for the viewers. I'm, I've got thinking about going somewhere I've never been before. Sounds wonderful. Sounds wonderful. That would fit in the new travel channel. Yeah, I'm thinking about Japan. Japan, oh, beautiful. Japan on twenty, Japan on twenty US a day. Do you reckon that's a great title? What are you going to have after your coffee in the morning? <laughs> when I went to Japan for the first time to, to buy a coffee, I think it was fourteen or fifteen bucks Australian. But there was a well, there was a coffee. Oh, you know, not a glut. You know, the opposite to a glut. There was a, a coffee shortage in the world at that time, and you know, producing coffee or something, and you know, coffee skyrocketed in I think in the mid eighties. Yeah, you know, it was about you know fourteen, fifteen, sixteen bucks in some places for coffee in Japan. You know, oh, they, they come and they come and ask to me. You have no idea. No one want to see your travel videos. Jeez, they're nasty. They asked a question before about the 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 little um, oh, oh, rendezvous in Bangkok with uh, the one that was unwashed. You know, uh, the, the punters are very interested in, in that one. You know, they they want to they they really want to know about that one, Paul. Yeah. Well, John, that, <coughs> actually, I tell you the truth, John. Let's be completely frank here, okay? Uh, I've met I've met a classy I've met someone who's extremely much more classy than my channel. So yeah, we well, don't have to develop that. Be, but let's get back to the thing. It might let's be an idea, Johnny, if you take over uh, comparing because I'm hopeless at this. You you seem to be able to drive these sleazy fuckers. So I'll let you compare. Um, that companion. Now, interestingly enough, I've got six other videos I made with that lady, which I haven't aired yet. So oh, I was actually going to. Be making a mini movie with her footage. We might wait and we might wait to answer that question then. It might be more appropriate, you know, with a little bit of backup footage, uh, you know, to explain the circumstance a bit, bit better. What do you reckon? Look, I tell you what, I tell you what, Johnny, you want some class? You want some yeah. class tonight? I'll put the cockroach footage up. Oh, please, that's what I want. I've got the perfect music out of that. I've got the perfect music coming. You about. want the cockroach yeah. footage, is that right? Tell me the truth. I reckon it was funny when you yeah, we were in Nana Plaza and you saw that cockroach the size of a cat. It was one of the funniest things I've seen in my life. And then you've gone <laughs> and jumped on top of it. You've jumped on top of it, squashed it all over the pavement. <laughs> yeah, you know, I thought, oh, that's a top move in a you know top move in a Buddhist country. Yeah, like you just stepped on someone's <laughs> auntie. You know. You just killed them. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> ripper! No top move. No, like no. You don't do that sort of stuff. I don't think entirely. <laughs> I see. They're just big fuckers. These roaches, you know. You should have seen the size of this cat. The first like my dad took me on the day. I said, "Look at the size of that cat, Dad, on that rubbish heap, eating all the rubbish." 
My dad said to me, that's not a cat. It wasn't. It was the biggest fucking rat you've ever seen in your life. I think it was the size of a cat it was. Oh, Christ, I'll never forget it as long as I live. You know, my big rats in Thailand, you know, they've got two-legged varieties and four-legged varieties. You know, the two-legged varieties are running around all day long. And then the and the ones, you know, with the four legs come out about, oh, four, five o'clock in the morning. You know, they eat all the scraps, you know? Yeah. Now, John, so we're going to be seeing some very serious changes to the Archie Luxury Channel. What's going to happen is, John? Good, good. Let me tell you this, because let, let's be honest, the ratings aren't working. There aren't enough people watching it. We've got this sleazy, melodrama sort of videos, and they're just not working, John. I'm sorry, they're not pulling the punters, okay? I'm not getting the views that some other people are getting, and I'm sick of it, John. So we're going to be, we're going, we've got Satin, Satin DeVille has come in and giving advice. He's, he's going to be appearing weekly on the channel, by the way. Tell him to put his tie on next time, will you? Uh, he's got the tie on this time, Johnny. Uh, the other thing is, we've got the Archie Luxury, yes, the Archie Luxury Weight Loss Program is coming out. What do you think of that? That's going to be, there's a lot of overweight, middle-aged white folk, well, it doesn't matter what, what colour or race you are, a lot of overweight fuckers there who could join me on this quest. I hope you do it, mate. You, you get your head stuck around. It could, take, it could take off that. And, and it wouldn't make that much of a difference to you. No. No. You know, like, you just, just take the old suits over and get them taken in. You know, you, you, know it's, you can easily take them in. You can't take them out. No, you're right, take Johnny. Take the suits back to bangers. Sorry? Take the old suits back to bangers. You've had, you know, made. They'll be too big yeah. for you. And they'll take them all yeah. in for you. Well, you know, they'll do that for you know, 20, 30 bucks. Johnny, it's all happening. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly, let's just wait and see. As you said, let's lose one kilo at a time, Johnny. Let's not get too excited there, as you said there. No more salty caramel ice cream. Yeah. Stop the sugar. Actually, that's a big no-no. Stop, no. Stop the sugar. Drink as much water as you can. No salt. No more schnitzels. Schnitzels are out, I believe. No salt in your diet. Don't take salt. You get enough salt. What's wrong with salt? Well, salt retains water. You know, the more salt you take in, the more more water your body will retain. You know, there's enough salt in food and in, in meats and in vegetables without putting salt salt on your food. May not taste quite quite as good, but uh, you know, it's it's not as bad for your body. You don't need the salt. You don't need the sugar. Okay, what else, John? Give me more. The fruit juice is evil. Fruit juice is evil. Natural, not the stuff you buy at the supermarket, you know, you know. Juice your own stuff. Get one of those juice things. You know, leave off those, you know, you know, make your own juice out of vegetables and fruit. Now, that's good food for your body. Very healthy. Now, what I did is, John, tonight I had steak, right? Let me tell you this. Yes. Now, li listen chips. to me. Do you have chips? No, I had salad. Good. But what good. I did with the steak is it's a porterhouse, right? Yeah. I cut it in two. I had half a porterhouse. Oh, look, you just cut the fat off. Eat as much meat as you can. Meat's not going to kill you. About 150 grams I had, John. I'm full. Yeah. What, what, was, yeah, what was the second course? The salad. I had two salads. I had two salads. Oh, God. Two salads, John. I'm full. What's wrong with that? Yeah, well, you, uh, yeah. well, well, you can. You like you, you meat rare or medium rare or medium rare to medium. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, that's how I like it. Me, you know, medium rare to rare. There's no slices up nice and thinly. There's no slices up nice and thinly. Put it in a nice salad. Steak. And I'm chewing about ninety-five times per mouthful. Doesn't matter how much you chew it, I don't know. I used to swallow my food before, John. Yeah. See that bloke who won the world record the other day? He sunk 16 hot dogs or something in a minute. Swallow them all. <laughs> I don't know if that's... Wasn't a, wasn't a tooth mark in them. Huh? <laughs> now, John, 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 we've got some really big changes happening on the channel. 
Good, good, good. And it's all happening because the ratings weren't working. Things weren't working here. I want to say this to the audience. It wasn't working. It was not working. You fuckers weren't promoting. You weren't helping me go. It wasn't working. It wasn't working. And uh, I got to tell you, John, I got to do things because I'll die, John. I'll die. I got a lot of living left. So we all die. I don't want to die. Right? So when you die, die. You know what you do in the meantime. Yeah. Yeah. It matters. The rest, mm. you know, the other two things you don't have a choice over. Now, John, we're getting some nasty comments here. Do you see some nasty fuckers there? Um, yeah, he's not subscribed for life. A grade filler. Well, they want the bar girls. They want to hear about the girls. You know, the sexy mix. That Yeah, did you like that? That was fantastic. Why isn't it rating then? Tell me that. Why isn't it rating? Because you didn't play it up. You just whacked it. You didn't edit the video. You should have, you know, fed into it a bit more. And um, But you can. You've got that footage there. You're not going to have the time to do that in Bangkok. You know, play with it. No, nasty back. side. Let me tell you this. I want to talk to you. Just, just so I want to analyse this with you, if you don't mind. I was staying in a hotel, and because... I don't, uh, you know, I wake up by myself. I decided to be charitable. Listen to me, John. I want to I hear your opinion as a experienced um, Bangkokian. I decided to go and find someone on the street who could use a nice warm breakfast, give them a breakfast, and maybe give them a shower if they didn't smell too good. That was the plan. I didn't want anything from them. I didn't want any sexual things from them. I just wanted to be a nice individual. Yeah, you don't feel sorry that the size was a mistake, my friend. So I found this lady. I said, hello, would you like to have a breakfast? And she said, yes. And I said, okay, let's go have the breakfast. And she said, can I use your shower? I said, okay, that's fine. And she came out with a towel. And I said, look, I don't want any services from you. I'm just a good Samaritan. I am a good Samaritan. I'm trying to be nice to her. I gave her a few free soaps and a shampoo, you know. I said, oh, if you don't mind, I might ask you a few questions for my um, my B-grade YouTube channel. She said, oh, it's okay. No worries. That's good. You're kind. Nice breakfast. Then she turned on me, John. Why are the Thais such cunts like that? I want to ask you that now. Why are the Thais such cunts when I've been nothing but a gentleman to her? Why are they such cunts with a capital K? Uh, well, she took your kindness for weakness, for weakness, and she thought, "Oh, you know, like this bloke's being kind to me. You know, he you know, wants to give me a feed, and he's done this, and uh, he might be soft. So, you know, we're playing for what he's worth. So, um, you know, you, you've had him here with her, and uh, and you've said to him, I'll give you a couple of hundred bars." Well, I never pro no, I never promised her anything. I I decided in the interview, I'd film her being gracious, and she turned into a fucking bitch. She turned into a fucking nasty bitch. Yes, but yes, she did. I agree, but you used terminology which she couldn't understand. You know, a couple of hundred bar. You know, is all they're going to hear is you know one hundred. Uh, and that's what happened in the interview. She said, you give me 100 baht. And immediately the body language changed. Her arms crossed over. Her arms crossed over like that. No, 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 no. Well, it went up from a couple of hundred baht, you know, you know, to 500 baht, you know. And then the waterworks went on. And then I said, I'll give, I'll give you seven. 
give you a 700 bar. You know, but uh, you know, like we don't need to go on from here. Like, you know, the minute, the minute you know, like I, I would have played the same game, you know, but, uh, you know, this, well, to be honest, I wouldn't have taken her back to my room and let her use the shower. I wouldn't let her use the stove anyway. Threw that out, did you? Yeah. Safe again after she gets yeah, that's right, Jono. Yeah, well, you, you, yeah, well, you throw that out, but you know, she, she had, she played you, you know, like, you know, like, it's very hard when someone tries to, you know, put on the waterworks, and you sit there and you be hard. You know, like, if it was me, and she did that to me, I would have given her two hundred bucks and said, get on the fucking bus and go back to his family in Chiang you go and pick some fucking flowers and I pushed her out the door. But yeah. Johnny, i got to confess to you, Johnny, I am a complete rookie. You are the mongers mongers. Now, you've got a soft heart, Paul. You've got a, a, a very nice heart and you're a very lovable person to live now when you know you in real life. You know, like this Archie persona, Archie luxury persona, well, it's a different game. But you and I, you know, we can make a life, and I know you. And you're, you're a, a very nice man with a soft heart. And you're very gentle with the ladies over there. And this bitch, you know, took your kindness to with. with. And, um, you now, as a couple of gentlemen, you know, uh, past comment, you know, look, I would have thrown around the fucking window. But, you know, in the first place, I would have the maroon. Uh, if, if you want to pick up something, they don't want to do it. They go to act up, you just fuck them. Yeah. You know, like, you, you know, like yeah, your own hotel is your own four walls. Yeah. That's, that's your own privacy. I don't let too many people into that. You know, I don't let too many people into my own private world into Bangkok. You know, like I've got have one private comforts and your bottle of whiskey and you you play your own games in your own room but you know you you know you want to bring off things off the street or something you know, take them to a short time hotel have two hotels you know taking you know you can have a shitty little like the other one living in your room yourself and you have a real plush one to throw them in if you want to but I normally work the other way. Well, I didn't sleep with this woman. I was just had a spare breakfast voucher. Do you understand? Breakfast voucher. It's not about yeah, yeah. hotel. This is a spare breakfast voucher. Yeah, well, you, you, I, I know that you met her. You know, well, you met her very early in the morning, but um, you said she stank when you saw her, and you know, like, and she wasn't the best sort in the world. Was she? Yeah, you know, like uh, you were. You were more than generous, in my opinion. More than generous. You know, I, I, I might have a little bit harder heart than you, but I don't cop that shit in Bangkok. You know, I would have Tell you what, Charlie, irrespective of anything, it's made fantastic footage. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. It was fantastic. That footage. was and it was YouTube gold when she started turning nasty. I didn't turn the camera off. I kept that fucker rolling. I could see this was turning into gold. Your blue was you raised your voice. You lost your cool and then you weakened. No, that, that, that got her out of the room. When I raised my voice, she got fucking scared. Uh, nah, when you said to when you said to her, I'm going to call the tourist police, she said, call them. She's been there. She's done that. No, that, that didn't phase her one bit. Didn't phase her. Call the police. Yeah, no worries. I'll call the fucking police, all right. To me, you know, um, you know, like, your time in Bangkok, the money it costs you to get there, you know, it's a relatively expensive trip to get there. The time you spend there is relatively short, you know, and uh, what you make of that time, uh, can be fantastic and you've said tonight you've had the you know the best time of your life well that was great you know people want to know about shark bite too mr cole wants to know about shark bite we'll get to that yeah like there's better things in thailand than shark bite isn't there paul 
Shark Bite was a girl who I met at, let's just, let's just explain the story. I met her at the airport. She had smiled vigorously at me. And she wanted to meet up. And I, I didn't mind meeting up, you know. I mean, I'm a social sort of guy. But what happened is, before I turned up, I'll just grab this quickly. I'll just be one minute, John. Yeah, no worries. One thing about most people don't know is, uh, you know, um, I, I, I wish everybody knew him like I do. You know, I wish everyone knew him like I do. Um, and uh, then um, I'm, I'm sure you'd have a lot more subscribers. Um, you know, um, Paul's a real softy when it comes down to it. You know, he's a, a real softy, you know, and, uh, you know, and it's evident, you know, how he loves his boys. You know, like he never, he never mentioned his kids. Yeah, you know, on here, but he, he, his boys are absolutely, you know, the love of his life. And he, you know, he, he devotes himself, you know, you know, to them. You might not believe it, but it's a fact, fellas. Anyway, back to back to whoring in Bangkok. He's off the phone. Sorry, Who man. Was that? Ah, Who was fucking that? Indians! Fucking Indians doing research, John. Fucking Indians God. doing research. No offense to any Indians listening who are doing research, but ah, Jesus Christ, Johnny. I wanted to say to you there, John, the reality is Bangkok is a very nasty, hard city. Someone and asked the question that you get any day in the heat. Mr. Mantel, Mr. Mantel asked if you get any decent heat in Bangkok. Do I get any what? Decent heat. H-double-E. What does that mean? Any cunt. <laughs> Oh, okay. Look, he is the word for for canting tie. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Look, yeah. we we got we got to be we got to be polite about these things, John. That's not a nice way. Look, the way they've asked these things here, and the way that they don't even watch my channel anymore, it's just driving me nuts, Jono. Jono, I tell you one thing for sure. It's a amazing town, amazing city. And uh, I love Bangkok. I really want to go back. But uh, it's not for the soft-hearted. You got soft-hearted there. You will be used and abused. They yes, are I very, know. very, very tough city. And um, I tell you what, John, I've learned a few things. And um, it's a very harsh place to be. So, uh, John, we've, this is a 45-minute interview. We've, we're just wrapping up now. So uh, we'll be doing some more. I just wanted to let everyone know I'm back. And, uh, John, thank you for being a guest on the program. Pleasure, Paul. Thank you, mate. We're going to be improving the quality. So please don't get angry. I'm trying to improve. The, you're, you're saying I put filler up. I've got cockroach videos to come, John. I just need to edit it. And it'll be up, okay? Can't wait, mate. I'm looking forward to it. Actually, Johnny, do you really want the cockroach video? Oh, I've got the first music to put to it. Yes, please. Okay, I might, yes, I might send please. you a, a private listing of it if you really, really want it. Do you really want it? Yeah, I want it. I want it. Okay. Thank you, John. Thank you, fans, viewers, and haters. This has been another live show with John Suckerhorn. Thank you so much for watching.